Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about character input output functions. So last class we discussed about formatted input output functions. In that we discussed about so f printf and f scanf. F scanf. So by using these two functions, we are going to read the data from the file and we are going to write the data to the file. So now in this class, we are going to learn about character input output functions. That means how to read data character by character from a file and how to write data character by character to a file. Okay. So for character input output functions, we have two functions to read character by character from a file. We are going to use one function that is F get C. Similarly, you can write the data character by character to a file with the help of f put c. So these two functions we are going to discuss in today class. Character input functions read one character at a time from text stream. Character output function write one character at a time to a text stream. So for reading the data character by character from the file we are going to use f get c so get c means get character f get c means get character from file e is used to obtain input from a single character at a time single character at a time it returns the character presented position indicated by file pointer so what it means so for example, so by using F open, you are going to open a file. For example, this is the file. Let us assume, so this is the file sam.txt. So sample.txt. Okay. In this, I store like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Okay. Now, so by using this F get C, you are going to read the data character by character from this file. So how? So this is the FP. Let us assume that this is 1001. So, so FP contains 1001. Now, if I try to read the data by using F get C, now the H, here the first character is H, that is read by the F get C and the pointer is go to next character. Here we read or write with the help of ASCII numbers. So H, for this there is a ASCII value. So, the F get C after reading these 1001 location, this returns the ASCII value of H. Okay. It returns the character presented position. For example, this is the FP1001. So it returns H. After reading, the pointer will be incremented to next location. For example, 1002. Now, if you are using the get C, then E is the output. And the pointer is incremented to next location and so on when it reaches this place this is EOF end of the file so this is the constant written if you are try to read the end of the file then also it returns a constant okay the syntax is f get c you are going to give the file pointer f get c fp now it returns a character at current position of file pointer so that is stored in this, val uh, this variable ch Okay, so that means what is the purpose of f get c? The f get c function we are going to use to read data character by character from file. Similarly, f put c is used to write a single character at a time to a given file. Now, so if I give the hello, hello, so this is the string. Now, the first character is stored in this file. So after that second, after that third, after that L, after that O, at this point, if I give control plus D, control plus D, so this is the end of the file. If you give control plus D, it indicates end of the file. So, so up to now, so this hello is stored in this file, sam.txt. We discuss with example. So coming to syntax, F put C int cap. Here we are read or write the data with the help of ASCII number. So for example, if I give the A, that is the ASCII value 65 here. Okay. So int care. So file pointer. What is the point? Uh, 
value are given so this is stored in this file pointer example f put c a comma fp the a is stored in this file okay that means the purpose of these functions f get c and f put c are you are going to read the data character by character from file and write the data character by character to a file okay so now we see one small example the purpose of the program is i want to create a file so after that i want to give the data from the keyboard and this data will be stored in this file character by character so after that i'm going to open the file and i read the data character by character for file creation first we are going to create a file pointer so file asterisk fp so that means so this is the fp so this contains the address of a file okay i am taking int c so this here i am going to use to store ascii values so fp equals to f open sam dot txt that means sample dot txt here i have opened this in writing mode that means i want to write the data onto this sam dot txt now what happened one empty file is created in hard disk with sam dot txt and in primary memory a file is created sam dot txt and let us assume the starting address is 1010 that is stored in fp 1010 okay so now so why c equals to get char not equals to eof when we read the data from the keyboard what is the eof in linux operating system the eof is control plus d control plus d when you create a file you give the data from the keyboard how we can terminate that means by using this control plus d that means if you press control plus d that indicates end of the file here okay so get char function what is the purpose of the get char so get char function is used to read the character from the keyboard so by using this get char you read the character from the keyboard and assign a variable c okay for example from keyboard i enter like this hello space friends how are you enter okay after that i give control plus d control plus d i terminate okay so first so c what is the c here h c equals to h that is not equals to uf so f put c this function f put c so h comma what is the file pointer 1010 1, that means the h is stored in this file and it is incremented to next place okay so next e e is not uf so again e similarly l not equals to uf so l L not equals to EOF, so L. Zero. O. O is not equals to EOF, so O. Space friends. And the data is stored character by character. Character by character. U. So after U, you press Control plus D. So Control plus D indicates end of file. So end of file not equals to end of file. Now it is false, so F close FP. So whenever f close fp so this data is stored in this file hello friends how are you how are you okay this data is stored in hard disk and so f close so this file pointer will be deleted okay up to here the file is stored like this now i want to read the data from this file sam.txt i want to read character by character so i create again fp so this is the fp equals to f open sam.txt r that means i want to read the i want to use this file in read mode i want to read the data only so this content so hello friends how are you so this is loaded into primary memory and the first address is indicating fp file pointer that is assigned to fp okay so next char ch i use this ch to print the value so while one so always i take this as a true now when i reach end of the file end of the file then i break the process here 
if it is not EOF, then I want to print the data on monitor. The first one is H. H is not EOF, so CH equals to F get C. So I have F get C function we are going to use to read character from file. So H is assigned to CH equals to H. Now print F CH. So H is print on monitor. So next similarly E. E. So E is not end of file. So E is print on monitor. Similarly it prints all the characters character by character. Okay. Here after you, you reach the EOF. Now so F EOF FP. Here it returns end of file and it becomes true and break the loop. Okay. So at that time the data in this file are displayed on monitor. I hope you all are understand character input and output functions. F put C is a character input function and F get C is character output function. Now we see so F put C and F get C functions. In this program, I create a file sam.txt. If you observe that, there is no file with name sam.txt. Now we execute the program gcc program 76.c. If you observe that dot slash a dot out. If you observe that sam.txt file created. If you open this, so this is the empty file. Okay. Now I give the data. Hello friends. How are you? I terminate this input by giving control D here. I am pressing control D here. So it is terminated. If you observe that after termination, so by using get C function, I read the data here. So hello friends, how are you? If you check the file, so sam.txt, hello friends, how are you? Is stored permanently. Okay. Here we store the data with the help of F put C function. That means character by character we send the data to file and by using f get c read the data character by character from this file 